Hi. So, most children are fond of cartoons and animation films. I'm guessing your child is too. When they listen to the names like Olaf, Woody or Nemo, it brings a smile to their face, doesn't it? Animations are really fun to watch because they open up our imagination to an impossible world. And that's exactly what we're going to do this activity. Over the boundaries of our imaginable world. We'll be creating a small video clip which might seem entirely impossible at first glance. So, why don't you and your child have a look at it? Wasn't it odd? How can a pencil with visible lead erase something off of the paper like that? Well, that's what you saw. You can rewind and rewatch if you'd like. Can your child figure out how this clip would have been made? You can pause the video to discuss if they have any ideas. The answer is stop motion animation. In this activity, we'll learn the secret behind this clip, how it was made using a simple mobile phone app and a bit of patience. So let's get started. To pull this off, you will be requiring the following. A pencil, an eraser, a tripod stand, a smartphone and a stop motion studio app, which you can download through the links given in the description. So the idea of stop motion animation is very simple. A video is nothing but lots of photographs stitched together and running really smoothly to give the illusion of motion. And stop motion utilizes this idea of taking independent pictures to make unbelievable videos like the one that you saw earlier. Be able to take pictures and compose the stop motion video We'll be requiring a smartphone with the Stop Motion Studio app downloaded on it. Also, we'll be requiring a pre-made drawing, which we'll be erasing using a pencil. You can draw literally anything of your choice here. We have chosen to draw the coronavirus. The next step is to set up your camera such that it will be able to take images of the drawing from one angle alone. The camera will need to stay undisturbed while capturing all the images for the stop motion video. So you can mount it on a tripod or a phone stand. Try to have a good lighting on the piece of your drawing and ensure that the focus remains fixed. We'll need to ensure that the paper with the drawing also doesn't move too much. Now that our camera is focused on the drawing and the lighting is perfect, you can start clicking pictures one by one. How we will be clicking these pictures is the heart to making this kind of an illusion. So pause here if your child still wants to figure out the secret by himself. What we'll be doing is this. First of all, we'll click a few pictures of the finished drawing. Then, we will be taking our eraser and erase a small bit of the drawing first. This part of the process need not be clicked. Having erased a bit, we can place our pencil on the drawing again and take a picture through the app with a pencil over the erased area. This small process will give the illusion that we just erased using a pencil because we did not capture the part of erasing with the eraser. Got it? Now, all we have to do is keep on repeating this process of erasing a small bit of the drawing placing the pencil over the erased area and clicking the picture through the app again and again till the drawing is totally erased. You can vary the number of pictures you take in this process to make the video look smoother or staggered. If you erase really small bits, the video will have more number of frames and will appear going smoothly over each area of your drawing. After having clicked a few pictures, you can preview how the video is looking like before going all the way through the process and finding out that you have made mistakes which you definitely will when you start and that's totally normal. You can check each frame for problems like the position of your pencil, presence of eraser or bits of erased material in the scene before proceeding to compile the video. 
you can delete the frames that don't seem right through the app as well. Once you're satisfied with all the individual pictures and their flow in the video, you can save it on your phone and share it along with people and get them wondering about how did you do this?